Phase diagrams. Okay, so a phase diagram is basically looking at what phase of matter any given substance is in at certain temperatures and pressures. So you can map this out. You get pressure versus temperature, and you can do this experiment. You can figure out, all right, at this temperature and pressure, what do I have? I'm solid, and then when does it turn into a liquid? So the way you kind of read these graphs is that along the line, so any of these lines, okay. So anywhere along this line, you're in equilibrium between the solid and the liquid, that's the blue line. Anywhere along the green line, you're in equilibrium between the solid and the gas. And then anywhere along the, the red line, you're in equilibrium between the gas and the liquid. So if you were just, a, so you, again, you're just plotting pressure versus temperature, you're figuring out experimentally, you know, what do you have at every given temperature and pressure? So over here in this corner, you're gonna have at high pressure, right? So I have low pressure down here, this is low pressure. Over here, this is high pressure, right? So I'm increasing in pressure at high pressure. I have low temperature here. Over here is where I have high temperature. So at high pressure, low temperature. Pressure means I'm forcing those molecules to be together. Low temperature means they don't have a lot of energy. They're not moving around. They can't get away from each other. They're stuck to each other. Those molecules are gonna be in a solid form. Now, the opposite's true over here, right? So in this corner over here, I have a really high temperature. What, what does matter like to be at at high temperatures? It likes to be a gas, right? They wanna get as far away from each other as possible. They've got a lot of energy, high temperature, and this is low pressure. So high temperature, low pressure. Low pressure means you're not forcing them to be together. So that's gotta be a gas. And then the liquid is gonna be somewhere in the middle. Um, the crazy thing about this is at a certain point, right? This is where you have liquid gas, right? I'm liquid gas, liquid gas. This point over here, if I increase the pressure anymore, or if I increase the temperature anymore, I get this really confused phase of matter, and it's called a supercritical fluid. And this happens when I have high, what do I have here? High pressure and high temperature. So think about what's happening. Uh, I have high pressure, I'm forcing these molecules to be together, but high temperature, they have so much energy, they're trying to get away from each other, and you get this really confused phase of matter, and it's called a supercritical fluid. And supercritical fluids have some pretty interesting um, uses. So supercritical carbon dioxide, if you soak coffee beans in supercritical carbon dioxide, it'll dissolve the caffeine. So you can, you can actually decaffeinate your coffee beans by soaking it in supercritical um, carbon dioxide. So in order to get that, you can just look at the phase diagram and figure out what, phase diagram for carbon dioxide and figure out what kind of temperatures and pressures you actually need in order to do that. Um, and that's just crazy. Why would you want to take, why would you want to take caffeine out of coffee beans? What's the point? I don't, I don't know. So what we're going to do in the next couple pictures, in the next couple of problems, is we're going to try to figure out, we're going to read these diagrams. So given a pressure and a temperature, you know, what kind of phase of matter would you have? And then if I started over here and I increase the temperature, that means I'm moving in this direction, what's going to happen? I'm going to um, melt the substance, will undergo melting, that sort of thing. Um, what else can I say on this one? If you're looking for a boiling point, where does boiling happen? Boiling happens between liquid and gas. So anywhere along this line is where you'll find boiling. So if you're trying to find the boiling point at a, um, a certain pressure, or you just draw a line over here and figure out, oh, right there would be the boiling point and then drop it down and find the temperature. So make sure when you're looking at boiling, you're going from um, a, a liquid to gas. If you're looking for the freezing point, you would go from the solid to the liquid. Um, here we go. So phase diagrams of water. So water is a little weird. Um, water, the solid liquid line is um, kind of in the opposite direction of all the other ones are, are kind of have a positive slope. This guy has a negative slope. And that's because water is weird. Um, water the, the, has everything to do with the density of the solid is um, less than the liquid. So when water freezes, it expands and then the ice cubes float on the surface of the liquid. Um, and so you, it gives you like a weird, a funky phase diagram. Uh, but you can see kind of where the supercritical fluid, the critical point, the critical point is uh, the point at which anything beyond that is going to be the supercritical fluid. A triple point, the triple point's down here. A triple point means you have all three phases of matter happening at the same time. You have a solid, liquid, and gas going on all at the same time. So you should be able to find the triple point. Like here's the triple point for uh, carbon dioxide. This is the critical point for carbon dioxide. So every molecule, every every compound has its own um, phase diagram, which you can determine experimentally, or you can just look it up. So let's try one of these. All right, so using this diagram here, 
Uh, so use the phase diagram, this is for methane. What are the approximate temperature and pressure of the critical point? So which one of these points is the critical point? So the critical point is at the end of this um, you know, liquid gas line. Critical point is over here, it's number three. So how would you find out what the, um, what the approximate temperature and pressure were? Right? You just kind of read it off of the, of the graph. Now these are kind of weird, so the, the scale is weird. It's going from like 10 and then 10 squared is 100 and then you have 1,000, so you, you have kind of like a funky scale there. Um, so you're somewhere here, um, sorry, that's your critical point. So you're somewhere between like 10 and 100, so it's about um, 50, I'm sorry, what are you, it's ATM approximately. So I'd give you any number between 10 and 100. And then for the temperature, you're actually at about negative 80 degrees Celsius. So if you're working backwards, this is zero. Um, so this is like negative, you know, you're, you're like negative 20, 40, 60, 80. There's your 80 um, degrees Celsius. Uh, what, what, now, usually we'll, we'll try to find a scale that's a little bit easier to use. Uh, what are the approximate temperature and pressure of the triple points? So triple points over here, this is one. You're going to do the same thing, draw a line over, and then you drop it down. Um, so the temperature is about well, negative 180 degrees Celsius for the temperature and the pressure is about, um, that's like 0.1. So 10 to the negative one is like 0.1. So you're at like 0.1 uh, ATM. And the next one they wanna know is methane, a solid, liquid, or gas at one ATM and zero degrees Celsius. So you find one ATM here and then you draw a line all the way over to whoop, zero, so it's at 0.2, right, that's it. So what do you have there? That's a gas. And then the next question says, if solid methane, so solid methane at one ATM, get rid of all these lines over here, solid methane at one ATM uh, is heated, so while well, the pressure is staying constant, so you're increasing the temperature, uh, will it melt or will it sublime? So I'm at solid, one ATM here, so I'm here, and I'm increasing the temperature. Which line do I cross first? Do I cross over to the liquid or do I cross over to the gas first? I cross over the liquid first. Uh, so that's melting. I'm going from a solid to a liquid, so that's melting. Great. And then the last one, if methane at one ATM and zero degrees Celsius is compressed, so that means I'm increasing the pressure until a phase change occurs, uh, in what state will methane, um, is the methane when it's, when it's when the phase is complete? So I'm starting off with we starting off with uh, zero degrees Celsius and one ATM. So I'm over here at zero degrees Celsius and one ATM, and I'm increasing the pressure until I see a phase change. So I'm just going straight up there. Um, and so I'm gonna end up getting a supercritical fluid. So that's a supercritical fluid. So there's a bunch more of these to do for homework and you'll probably see something like that on a test. Um, just be able to navigate your way around a phase diagram. So you have pressure, temperature. Um, remember at high, you have solids up here because you're at high pressure, low temperature, and you have a gas over here because you're at high temperature and low pressure. And then over here, you have your confused phase of matter um, when you have high pressure and high temperature because those forces are working against each other and then uh, liquid's gonna be in the middle.